Good morning, guys. Hope you had a great trading week. Drop me a line in the comments. Let me know what you played this week. I'm curious. So today I want to talk about number one CPI. Okay, that's coming out March 12th. So we're getting close to that. And analysts expect this to come in a little hotter than expected because of gas prices going up. So that could be an optimal time to get in after that report, after the dip. You can buy into some of your favorite names. And leading up to the AI conference, I wanted to tell you some names that I'm playing. I'll tell you at the end of the video here, but a couple other things I wanted to talk about. So valuations, okay, obviously when interest rates are going up, valuations matter more. Okay, we all saw that right during 2022, right? Interest rates were going up, stocks got hammered because valuation was more in focus. But when the opposite happens, when interest rate cuts happen, which should start in June, depending again on this inflation data coming out in the 12th, but right now the probability of a June cut is likely. But when interest rates are going down, valuations can get a little more outstretched, okay? Especially when we're talking about an AI bull run right now and an AI boom that's taking place. People are excited about the future of the growth. We know companies are spending heavily on AI. So that's why you can get away with higher valuations. And even people are talking about, you know, an AI bubble right now. Remember, the NASDAQ has to at least double to have that conversation. If, we're, if we want to compare this to the dot-com boom, right? And when that bubble burst, we're not even close there yet. We just got back to all-time highs, okay, with the NASDAQ. So believe it or not, I think we have a lot of room we can run still, okay? So, but I wanted to talk about a few other things here I wrote down here. So we talked about CPI March 12th. You want to watch that, okay? Because that could provide an entry point for you. And you know, with the Fed, right there, or Powell did confirm he still expects interest rate cuts, you know, later this year. So that's why I'm already in the small cap AI stocks. And I'll mention these again. I've mentioned these in several videos in the past, but I recommend starting to dollar cost average if you want to wait till after the CPI report, because you could get a dip then. That makes sense. Okay. So these stocks include Lemonade, Exometry, Perion Network, Upstart, and also AI, which is C3AI, okay? So these are some of the small caps, you know, I'm holding in my long account. And also with the NVIDIA's AI conference taking place, remember March 18th through March 21st, I do think these stocks will rally. You know, like I said, after the CPI, that's the 12th. Maybe later in the week, next week is when these AI stocks start rallying again as they go into this conference the following week. So I'll be playing some stocks pretty heavily going into that, okay, because I think the excitement will rise again there. So here are the ones I'm playing. These are, these are the big cap names I'll be playing pretty heavily, you know, through the AI conference. These are like, again, short trades because I'll probably sell them after the AI conference is over. So NVIDIA, obviously, got to have that one. SMCI, CrowdStrike. Palantir, Taiwan Semiconductor, Symbotic, Amazon, Google, Meta, UiPath, and Okta. Okay, those are all plays in AI. Not all of them obviously are around AI chips, right? Like NVIDIA, but still just playing the AI theme through that, you know, AI conference, I think will do well. So those are the ones I'll be having heavier positions. And I'll also be putting a little bit of each of those into my long-term portfolio, okay, as well as those small caps we talked about, okay? So I wanted to let you know on that. Also on the crypto fr front, Bitcoin is the one, like I said, I've been saying to own directly, guys, okay? This could easily go up over 100,000, okay? I don't think people realize the Bitcoin having, a lot of people don't understand it when you reduce the supply the price goes up. If you look in history, when having has occurred, right, Bitcoin prices have gone up nicely. And right now it's a risk on moment, right? Especially with AI, NASDAQ going up, that all that bodes well for Bitcoin. So I recommend being in that one. Okay, any dip, we actually did just get a dip, right? Uh, from Friday or over the weekend. I haven't looked at Bitcoin this weekend, but I think this is a good price, even in the 60-something thousand before it goes back to all-time highs. If you don't have any, just grab a little Bitcoin. It's worth it just to hold that long because that can go up exponentially. Okay, with people using this on a global basis and currencies on a global scale, like Turkey, right? When their currency, you know, going, going to crap, right? When other countries are struggling with their currency, Bitcoin is another alternative to preserve wealth. That's just one of many reasons, okay, why to hold Bitcoin, all right? But that having, like I said, that's still 
about a month away. That happens April 19th. So I would be buying ahead of that. Okay. And there may be a pullback like, like we talked about after the halving happens, but I think that'll be short lived. There'll be some consolidation maybe for a little bit and then it'll trend back up and I think get to 100,000. If it doesn't get there before, you know, the Bitcoin having, we'll see. But I'm excited on Bitcoin. The rest of these plays, if you're playing them, these spec ones like Bonk or Shiba Inu, right? Just make sure if you do get that rip to be smart and take your initial investment out and then let the rest ride, that's fine. So you can't lose anything. That's the way to protect yourself because we know these spec stocks, right? They can go up huge or they go down to nothing, okay? So make sure you're careful there, all right? And then also Ethereum you can own too. That one, I think Bitcoin and Ethereum are okay to home. But right now, you know, Bitcoin with the big catalyst coming up, obviously with the, the halving, that's the one to make sure, you know, you have first. If you had to choose one, but like I said, having some Bitcoin, having a little Ethereum, you know, is okay long. So hope that guys help uh, you guys out and let me know what you're gonna be trading this week. Drop me a line in the comments. And like I said, last week, what you played, if you had a nice winner, let me know. Have a good weekend, everyone.